ABC fans, Jamie Parker here in Southern California as the 2-0 Boston College football team get ready to take on USC. And I am here joined by the only California kid on the entire BC roster, the starting quarterback Chase Reddick. Here you are back home. What's it like returning home? Uh, it feels great being home. You know, we got a beautiful environment. We're staying in uh, Glendale right now. We got some of the mountains behind us. And uh, it's just been nice to get here. And I'll have a lot of family at the game, so it'll be nice for them to come out and see me play live. You're playing against USC. Um, I, I know when you grew up, you actually went to the Coliseum quite a bit. Do you remember some of those trips and what was what it was like? I remember uh, going to the Coliseum um, in the mid-2000s and when it was Matt Liner and Reggie Bush and their defense had guys like Ray Montaluga and Clay Matthews and just a whole bunch of good players. So um, growing up, there was a lot of uh, times, a lot of time spent at the Coliseum and you know my parents tailgating. But um, you know I'm excited for the game and I'm excited to play them. Yeah, and it, probably excited to play at that venue as well. I mean, as a little kid going there at the Coliseum when you're little and you started playing football, that must have been a dream years to play there. I think so. I think a lot of the times when you're in college football, when you finally get to that point. You start taking things for granted a little bit at a big stadium, and um, this week has definitely brought me back, uh, you know, my roots and going to games. And now I get an opportunity to play in the Coliseum, and it's a it's a big opportunity, and I just want to make the most of it. And how ironic is it that Lane Kiffin is now coach of USC, and back in the day he recruited you when he was at Tennessee. So won't it be nice to kind of say, yeah, you could have had me <laughs> a little bit? I mean, yeah, he was at Tennessee and he offered me a scholarship, but. Um, you know, I was kind of an eager kid and I, and I was really trying to get recruited. DC went out on a limb and offered me, um, you know, I said yes and, um, you know, soon after that I got a bunch of different scholarships, but I thought it was really important that BC came out and offered me and, and that's where I wanted to stay committed to. But I want to test your knowledge of California to see if you still remember some things. What's up? What about the state animal? What is it? The state animal? <laughs> California state animal. What is it? The oh. I'll give you a Brown bear. Oh, very good. Grizzly bear. Very, very good. Nice. All right. Uh, only one other one. How about the nickname of the state? Boston's the Bay State. This is the. All right. All right. So Golden some State of Mind. Wanted... There you go. We got the Golden Bear too, right? Yeah. Jack Nicholas from here. Uh, just a um, couple things. Wanted to know if you did surf, surfer. Yeah. You did. Yeah. See now, I wanted to get him out there surfing. Could you? We had show surf me classes anything? at our high school. Do you miss that? Like you can't really do that. Well, you can go to the Cape and do that, but. Have you, what's the last um, time you did that? Not, I'm not like a great time. surfer, so, but I do like to, it's nice to get out on the water and um, and be able to do that. So that's that's definitely one thing you can do out here almost year, year round. All right, so now I'm here for security. <laughs> and the first thing you need to learn is ball security, ball security. apparently. High and tight. I'll yeah. show you. You gotta have the eagle grip. You gotta have right. the eagle grip. Give me the eagle grip. Do a peace sign. Peace. I'll put that on, well, right there, like this, okay. like on each side. On each side. Okay, now you just get your whole hand on it. Press it against your bicep. Tight to your chest now. And then make sure there's no gap between the back of your arm right here. And then that's high and tight. Wow, high and tight. I like yeah, that. High and right. tight. High and tight. All right, you're up. All right, what are we so doing now? Now we're gonna, you're gonna show me. Spirals are obviously a big thing. Guys like to throw spirals. Yeah. I know, let's we'll, we'll see. We have a big difference here with hands. You know? All right. All right. All right, I understand. So let's just see that. All right, so for me, for me, for me, my, it's my ring finger. Goes okay. on the second, right here. Yes. Okay. My pinky kind of goes on to the, to the lace right here. Okay. A little too high. Okay. And then that's it right there. And how how long did it take you to get that? I mean, do you have to look each time, or you don't? Have to since look birth, at all? since birth, just put my hand football. on the football. I'm here. Hold on. Um, I played flag football in middle school. That I was played my first flag time. football. Hey. See, we have so much in common. All right. <laughs> So, all right, so when you get it there, all right. Then I like to have my index finger a little bit higher on the football right there. So then, when I throw the football, my index finger is the last thing that comes off the ball. Oh, and that does the and, I, and you can, you can, but it's kind of just like a natural motion, and okay. it's the last thing off the ball, and that's what helps you get the spiral going. But what about the arm? Does it need to stay? Like Your arm, when you're in the pocket, you never want to have the ball down here because then it, it takes too long to come up here. You always want to have it kind of. Anywhere in the middle of your chest, Four. yeah, and you want like, it's kind of like a small circle thing. That's what someone told me when, uh, when I was getting recruited. Okay. You have small circles and a quick release. So you don't drop the ball down here, it takes too long. You just want to have a quick release Plus like right here. But you always want to have two hands on the football in the pocket, because if you have one hand, someone can knock it out easier, and then it's a fumble. And your coach is yelling at you pretty, pretty heavy. Yeah. What is your favorite kind of throw? 
My favorite throw? Like the deep threat. What's your, what's your, what's your favorite? I would say a really heavy play action. Okay. And then something down the field. Either a post move that turns into a corner out, vice versa. Um, anyone that's heading towards the sideline on a crossing pattern deep down the field. Um, we've had a lot of success on that over, over the years. Yeah. So if you get the right look, you definitely just want to, you really want to overemphasize that you're going to try and run the football, pull it out the last second, make sure you're protected, and then launch the ball downfield. How strong, how strong is your, what's the farthest you ever thrown? Have you ever been measured? How far can I throw the ball? Well, out of the three quarterbacks, we all throw the ball probably around like 72, 73 yards. Oh, yeah. that's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. Is there a little challenge with you guys when you do that kind of stuff? A little um, comp friendly competition, if you will? I mean, if someone throws it farther than the other, it matters the distance. You know, if it's really close, it's like, oh, well, you had the wind, you, know, the you had the wind at your back, you took too many steps, right. um, you passed the line. Uh, there's always different things, but really? it's all just good fun. All right, so now let me just put a little secret of mine. Wait, let me see if you can throw a spiral. Well, I don't know. Where am I going to throw it to? Let you throw it to me. Time. I'll stand here. Right, you got to right. take a drop. Okay. You don't even know how to take a drop. You got to show me these things. Okay, right. you're going to be like this on your center. Okay. You want to keep your feet like, no, you're already wrong. The center's in front of you. You gotta, you gotta be like this, okay? Okay. Forward like this, all right? And you get it? One, two, three. You take a three-step drop and then throw to me. Okay. But I'm not gonna try to do the spin thing, right? No, no, just do, do you. Like a duck. No, not a duck. Okay, you're good. No tongue shoes, I like it. Nike. <laughs> <laughs> I love under armor. <laughs> one, two, three. Oh! Better catch than a throw, but that's all right. <laughs> Dude, it has been a pleasure hanging out with you, Mr. Chase Reddick. Thanks for the tutorial. Thanks no for the conversation about lovely California. And yeah. uh, of course, good luck in your final season here at BC. Thank you. And uh, cheer for you. All right. BC, cheer for you. Go BC. <laughs>